carefully use your seam ripper to remove your basting stitch. Now flip your sample to the correct side. Feel through your sample and find your zipper stop. Measure and mark a quarter of an inch up from your zipper stop on your seam line. Now measure and mark lines that are a quarter of an inch away and parallel to the seam. Be sure to mark on both sides of the seam. Now let's head back to our sewing machine. Be sure to drop your zipper foot and reattach your basic straight stitch foot. Begin on the top of your sample. Simply straight stitch on the markings that you've drawn. Once again, manipulate your zipper pull so that it's not in the way while you're sewing. As you approach the bottom of where your parallel line and your first marking meet, slow down. Adjust your stitch length to something small, possibly two or three. Slowly sew towards the corner. You're about to pivot. Sink your needle into the corner. Lift your sewing machine foot and rotate your sample. Slowly sew across. Once again, sink your needle into the corner. Lift your sewing machine foot and once again, rotate your sample. Simply follow your markings and stitch back up to the top. Don't forget to manipulate your zipper pull so that your stitch can remain straight. Finally, don't forget to backstitch. Now let's head back over to our ironing station. Use your seam ripper and carefully open your seam. Be sure to cut and clean any loose threads. And wow, we beautifully executed and practiced another sample, a centered zipper application. Let's continue on this sew journey together. Like this video and subscribe to our channel.